So about a week ago, Bruno Mars and Anderson Pock, two widely popular uh, artists in the music industry, uh, released their debut album as duo Silk Sonic, titled An Evening with Silk Sonic. Now, people have been looking forward to this album for quite a while at this point, because I'm pretty sure, like, way back in March, they dropped the first single, Leave the Door Open, huge hit, blew up. At some point in the summer, I think either late July or early August-ish, they dropped Skate, another big blow-up, really popular song, and then a week before release, they, they, uh, they released the song Smoking Out the Window, another big hit. Everybody loved all three of these songs and couldn't wait for the album to come out. The only sad part about the album is how short it is, because it is really good, and I feel like most people uh, share that opinion with me about this album, and I thought I'd just give a little bit of a um, basic review about the, the whole thing. So I've been a fan of Anderson Pock for quite a few years. By now, I like his rap music. It's really good, and obviously everybody likes Bruno Mars. How can you not like Bruno Mars? Great voice, incredibly talented singer. There's nothing not to like about him. But before I get further into this review, I did actually want to, uh, uh, review, well not review, re-review another album that I gave a rating on in one of my quick thoughts videos, which is the Melodic Blue. I've decided, uh, overthinking, uh, rather than giving it an 8.5 out of 10, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. I just thought I'd say that because I changed my mind. I just think that album's incredible. Anyway... I'm going to go through every song on this album and just give my quick thoughts about it, even though it's not a quick thoughts video, and then my overall rating of this album as a whole. And you're going to see a, a theme with my thoughts on every single one of these songs. Now, starting, we have the, the Silk Sonic intro. Hardly really a song. It's only a minute long, and it's just kind of like getting everything like set up for the album. And even uh, even with that like uh, thought process like in place when you're going into it knowing it's just gonna be an intro just to get everything ready it's still an incredible song really fun to listen to i've been uh wondering if i was gonna add it to my playlist or not because the the actual singing part's like so incredibly short so i don't know if i'm gonna add it to my playlist or not it's still not decided even though it is really good but yeah it's just an intro can't really rate it as its own song then we have fly as me this song this song it's very uh it's very funk compared to the rest of the album. The style is very funky. And uh, it does have some rap aspects. This song in particular was pretty heavily carried by Anderson Pock compared to the, uh, the other ones. It is way more heavily sung and rapped, etc. by him than it is Bruno Mars in this song. But overall, incredible song. I'd give this one like a 9.5 out of 10. So good. If not... A 9 out of 10, but I love that song. Uh, actually, I did skip over. I was originally going to skip over them, so I'll, I'll review Leave the Door Open also, and I'll do the other singles, if you could call them that, the ones that came out before the album. So Leave the Door Open, also an incredible song. I'll probably give it like a solid 8.5 out of 10, if not an 8. Incredible song, too. That one was more uh, laid back, I guess you could say. It was definitely more R&B, like... The actual genre of the album was very R&B, and it was just like, uh, if you want to love me, my I, I'm waiting here with open arms, and like, shit like that. Good song, really catchy, love it. Uh, and then you have After Last Night. Uh, this one is uh, the aftermath of Leave the Door Open, in a sense. Um, incredible song, it's just about uh, these two, well, these two people, we don't actually know, but just from interpretation of how the song's going. Uh, they had a, a night together, and then the the man fell in love with the woman, and yeah, that's really it. It's just a, a four four minutes of about that, but again, incredible song. The sound, it, it, of, of the the whole album, it's just it's so good. But after last night, really good. The production's really good. The production's really good on most of these, though. The production budget was really high on this album. Probably why there's a uh, part of the reason why there's only nine songs. But after last night's probably a solid nine out of ten, I would say. Then we have smoking out the window. Smoking out the window is an incredible, incredible song. Smoking out the window is uh, I I'm kind of saying what the songs are about because if you listen to them in order, it does kind of tell like a story, which I will get into after I finish giving the singular reviews. But smoking out the window is like. The, uh, they, as in the two singers, were in love with 
two respective uh, respective women, and they're like buying them shit, doing shit for them, but they're not getting anything in return, and they're just like so like lonely, even though being in this relationship, and that's really like the the whole point of it, like. Like lines say, this bitch got me paying her rent, paying for trips, diamonds on her neck, diamonds on her wrist, and now I'm here all alone. Stuff like that. That's kind of encapsulates the whole uh, theme of that song. Incredible song. That's going to be the first one that I'm giving a 10 out of 10 to. That that song is incredible. We have uh, Put On A Smile. Oh, Put put On A Smile is such a good song. Now this one is, again, they're... they're pretty well in order if you listen to them for the story of them put on a smile is kind of like everything happened like that i was mentioning like smoking out the window and now they're apart the the men and the women they're apart and the men bruno mars and anderson pock are very are very sad and they're saying that the only the only thing worth smiling for was the was the woman that they were with and that they aren't really happy anymore and they're just putting up a front when they're with all their friends and partying and stuff like that. Then we have 777. Now, in in the story of this whole album, I feel like this fits in like after being sad and stuff, the two boys, Silk Sonic, they decide to go to a to a casino and gamble. It's all about gambling. So, there so this this one's definitely less uh deep and story-based as the rest of them. Not that all of them are super deep in the first place. But this one's definitely one of the more fun songs, like Fly As Me. And 777, it's essentially, they, they go to gamble, and they they win a lot. And yeah, I'm about to buy Las Vegas after this roll. That's one of the lines in the hook of this song. And something about this song is incredibly catchy. Bruno Mars has, like, the beginning, like, three-fourths or seven-eighths of, um of each verse and then Anderson Pot comes in with like two to four lines I think at the end of the verse and then it goes into Anderson Pock singing the rather short hook but it's still pretty catchy and I feel like that one uses both of them a pretty solid amount that song's incredible also put on a smile didn't give a rating put on a smile is another 10 out of 10 the production is incredible the singing is incredible Bruno Mars does amazing with like the 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 key changes where he changes the tone of his voice. He goes falsetto and shit like that. Anderson Pock also does really well on that. He does more of more on the verses than Bruno Mars does, but Bruno Mars does the hook and the hook is incredible on put on a smile. And then seven, 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 I'm also going to have to give a 10 out of 10 just because it's a really fun song and it's just fun to listen to. The production's not as crazy and out there as put on a smile. Neither are the vocals, but I just think it's a really fun song. So I just love it. So that's another 10 out of 10. That's three in a row. And that's about to be four in a row because then we have skate. One of the singles that was dropped in the summer. I love this song. The the beat in the background, the production's just really good on this song. The start with Anderson Poxworth is incredibly solid. I love that. And the little guitar in the background. I would try to replicate it, but I'm not going to do that because I seem like a fool. But <laughs> that song's another 10 out of 10. I love that song. And fitting in with the story of the album, this is uh, essentially after the events of 777 take place. Uh... Anderson Pock and Bruno Mars run into more women and they fall in love with them again because they're just like that. They like falling in love and they're like, come over here and uh, I'll love you and stuff like that. Kind of similar theme to leave the door open and, and fly as me. Whereas like leave the door open saying, if you want to come love me, I'm here with open arms. Fly as me is kind of just saying, uh, well, it literally says I deserve to be with somebody as fly as me. And they're just saying, a cool, I deserve to be with a cool person, and you're a cool person, and you deserve to be seen with me. And that's kind of like the theme of Fly As Me. And then it goes into After Last Night, Smoking Out the Window, Put On A Smile, all about the same people. Then 777 happens, and then Skate comes in, where they're trying to find new love and stuff like that. And Skate, another 10 out of 10. Then we have the, the closer of the album, which is Blast Off. Blast Off is another great song. It's actually, yeah, it's the longest one on the, uh, on the record. And Blast Off is another really solid song. I love this album so much. It, this song's probably a solid eight or eight and a half. I'd probably rank it the same as Leave the Door Open. Uh, and Blast Off, there are two interpretations I've heard of this, and I don't know which one I like more, but one of them is that the ladies that they're meeting in Skate uh, are with them, and it's kind of like the equivalent to After Last Night, but for these new women where they're, where they're like together and they're having a good time and stuff like that. 
so it's like a happy ending or there's the other interpretation where it's like because there, there's a lot of reference to like drugs and stuff in this song but not in a bad way and like a leisurely way and some people are saying that it has a happy-ish connotation but it's in this sense it's saying that Bruno Mars and Anderson Pock are in like a bad state and they're only happy because of the influence that they're under at this point in the album and that they didn't end up getting a new love they didn't end up finding love and they're kind of just on their lonesome together just as a lonely uh duo of lonely guys i don't know really how, how much else to say it i do like to think that it is the former because i think i i like the happy ending but the uh the sad ending's still good and i think they both fit pretty well uh blast off like i said probably eight eight and a half similar to leave the door open and in case you couldn't tell I'm reading, the, I'm reading this album as a 10 out of 10. It is one of three 10 out of 10 albums that I think, in my opinion, that have come out this year. Those being The Off Season, The Melodic Blue, and this. I, this album, like, they just didn't miss. I didn't expect them to, and they did not. They, they exceeded my expectations, and my expectations were high. So, I'm like, I haven't gone a single day since this album's come out without having at least one of the songs stuck in my head. And I can tell you one thing. Each song on this album has been stuck in my head at least once, like, for for a while, too. Even the intro, the first couple lines of the intro, it's just, it's so catchy. And like I explained before, the album is, it does tell a story. I'll quickly go over that again, even though I kind of explained it as I went along. The intro just kind of gets everything set up, sets the scene for, like, what style we're going to get into. And then Leave the Door Open is, like, uh... The, the artists are... I'm just going to be referring to Anderson Pock and Bruno Mars as the artists because it's easier. They're... Uh, they're run into, they run into somebody that they're, like, really into. And they're like, if you want to love me, I'm here with open arms and come here and stuff like that. And then Fly As Me is kind of similar where they're saying, I deserve to be with somebody as cool as me. Again, as Fly As Me, obviously. Same thing. And you're Fly and you deserve to be with somebody as Fly As Me. So they're saying, I'm cool, you're cool, let's do something. And then we have After Last Night, which is kind of like the um, the aftermath of those two first songs where they got together, they did their thing, and uh, now the artists are in love with these women. And then we have Smoking Out the Window. Now, Smoking Out the Window, like I said before, the artists in this, in this case are still kind of, in a sense, with these women that were in that were uh, mentioned in the first uh, three songs and now they're like buying them shit doing shit for them but they're not really returning or reciprocating any love to them so they're like uh the, the big line the catchiest part is when anderson Pock or bruno mars because it happens twice go this bitch got me paying her rent paying for trips diamonds on her neck diamonds on her wrist and now i'm here all alone i'm so cold you got me out here smoking out the window so, in that part of the, the song, it kind of encapsulates the whole story of the song, which makes sense, because that is kind of like, you know, the hook. But, um, yeah, they're kind of like, they're spoiling and pampering the, the one that they love, but they're not really getting any love back. So, it's kind of like falling apart, the relationship for the, for the artists and the women that they're with. Which leads into Put On A Smile, where that relationship is now over, and, it, they, and they... Uh, they cut it off, and now the artists are really sad about it, talking about how the only thing that was worth smiling for was these women when they were with them because they loved them, but they were not loved back, and they're just, the whole song's kind of just talking about how they're really sad about the fact that the relationship's over because they really loved the women that they were with. And then, the probably least smooth transition, not necessarily in a bad way, but it doesn't really lead directly into the next song, which is 777 where they go gambling, they win a lot of money, and that's really it. It's just like a pause for like a pretty fun song, like I said before, and that's really it. They're sad, so they decide to go gambling, and they get big winnings. And then after that is Skate, when they run into some more attractive women that they are into, and they're trying to find a new love, so they're uh, saying, come, come here. <laughs> that's really it. Slide your way on over. Skate to me. And that's kind of the whole premise of that song, pretty similar to to leave the door open or even fly as me like i said before and then ending is blast off and like i said it has 
to kind of a happy and a sad ending, depending on how you want to interpret it. Either they're lonely and sad and they're taking drugs to cope with the pain, or they're taking drugs and having a wonderful time with the women that they love and shit like that. It's kind of hard to determine. You have to kind of listen to the song. I personally like to think it's the latter. I do like the the happy ending of it, but that's kind of just my interpretation of it. But let me know what you guys think, and let me know what you guys think of the album. Again, I would rate it a solid 10 out of 10. Uh, most, not most of the songs, all of the songs were incredible. A solid chunk of them were what I would say 10 out of 10s, and I really enjoyed it. Probably my third favorite album to come out this year behind the two that I mentioned before, The Melodic Blue and then Off Season is number one. I did do reactions to the off season if you want to go scroll through the channel and check those ones out because those are pretty solid videos, I must say myself. Um, and that's really it for this video. I really loved the album. wanted to share my thoughts on it with you and uh, give it a listen, please. I'm just saying for, for your sake, not mine, for your sake, listen to this album. You will probably like it if you like any style of music. It is just really incredible and it's really fitting to anybody. And it's, it's very 70s, so if you want some throwback stuff, if you're old, unlike me, uh, it's just it's just really good. It's a really good recreation of that style. However, they still manage to keep an original sound to it. And I just think it's an incredible album, and that's really all I wanted to say. I will see you guys in the next videos. Deuces. Deuces.